My name is Lois, and I'm from the southwest part of the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, professionally, I've been a teacher, a school counselor, a school psychologist, um, a special ed administrator. So all of my life learning and especially reading have been critical to my lifetime, my vocational interests and so forth. Um, macular degeneration runs in my mother's family and ultimately I began to have some vision problems. Um, one eye is wet and one eye is dry, so <laughs> I had both to cope with and injections in the one eye. Um, I didn't like doing that. I was determined to find a way that I didn't have to have injections anymore. Um, my vision, first the right eye began to have worse and worse um, uh, acuity and it became so different from my left eye that it made it hard for me to look at a printed page with both eyes. So I would close the right eye. Um, it got so bad that a couple eye doctors when I went for glasses said, you know, that eye really isn't working. Let's not put a prescriptive lens in it. We'll just put a piece of glass in there. But I was determined that I was going to use it uh, even a little bit as long as I could. And uh, I found a way to, to stop the fluid that I wasn't getting injections anymore, but then the doctors would check me periodically and say, no fluid, you don't need injections, nothing we can do. And, um, but my vision was getting worse and worse, and it got to the point two years ago that I knew I was losing my vision. Um, straight lines, telephone poles, trees, the door frames weren't straight, smooth lines anymore. They were shaggy, and it was like black fringe was on them. And the black fringe was getting thicker and thicker, and my field of vision was getting darker. And I thought, I've got to do something, or I'm not going to be able to see at all. But I didn't need an injection, so there was nothing the doctors could do. So I began to search the internet. And um, years ago, I had been in a small pilot study with acupuncture, but nothing ever came of the program. At the time that I had the treatment, it had helped me considerably. And so I had a very uh, favorable experience once before with it. And um, as I searched and searched the internet, I finally stumbled upon some videos and information about Dr. Andy Rosenfarb in Westfield, New Jersey. Um, I got one of my nephews who was a computer geek to help me check things and read and I read and, and studied videos and listened to all of his videos for a couple months and we both decided that this man was really legitimate and, and, and was very effective. So then I began the checking with doctors, medical doctors, optometrists, and they said, well, they didn't think that ac acupuncture maybe was very helpful, but it certainly couldn't hurt me. So if it couldn't do any damage, I decided my vision was worth it. And I came to Westfield, New Jersey. By this time, the shadows, this black fringe uh, was, was really getting bad. And um, after about six treatments, more, I wasn't even halfway through the treatment, all the black fringe was gone. And it's never come back. I see straight, smooth lines. I don't see any black shadows, which in itself was miraculous to me. Then I found that I was beginning to be able to read some of the big street signs on the right side of the road because my right eye was beginning to read them again. I'd been told that I was dysfunctional, but it really wasn't. It, the cells hadn't died. They were just dormant, and the acupuncture began to wake them up. 
at the end of my third visit, this is my fourth visit in Westfield, New Jersey. At the end of the third visit, the right eye was almost as good as the left eye and I could begin to look at a printed page and use both eyes at the same time. So um, this has, has been the most unbelievable experience for me. And I was so frustrated and it seemed so hopeless that um, just being able to see all of this improvement um, made me feel much more confident. I, I was getting to the point where I was, I was just completely frustrated and, and discouraged and I couldn't, I couldn't teach a lot of things anymore because I couldn't read the new books and, unless they were in an, an e-book form that I could put onto a tablet and enlarge the font. So that was discouraging because I cut down on, on my ability to teach. But I'm back to um, reading better. I hope at the end of this treatment that um, you know maybe I won't even need the, the e-books that I can I can use regular paper books again. And it's so it's it's been an emotional uplift for me. It's been an encouragement. And um, I, I just feel so fortunate that I, I found Dr. Andy. The man has so much knowledge. I mean, I've been an educator all my life. I, I live in the field of professors and teachers, but this man is one of the most intelligent, knowledgeable people I've ever met. And he doesn't mind sharing that knowledge. My doctors at home made me feel like they were too busy to talk to me and I didn't know, need to know that anyhow, whatever they knew. But that's not the way Dr. Andy feels. If I want to learn, he's, although he's an extremely busy person, he's got time to talk to me. He loves to see that you're interested and to teach you. And the staff are wonderful. They're very gracious, caring people. So I look forward to coming here and when I get here, I feel like I'm back at home. And I'm just grateful that I discovered this and that all of these people are here. And, and the other, we all feel the same, so that we almost feel like we're a family when we're here and we get to know each other. And we're here from all over the world. Right now, I'm, I'm talking with somebody from Miami and someone from Quebec, Canada, and people from Indiana and people from New Mexico, and, um, and I've even met people from overseas when I've been here. So I, I feel that for me, it's been a wonderful program. I don't think anything helps everybody, but it certainly has been helpful to me.